Hi, I'm Sam, and I'm a truck driver. Guess why I'm waving at you? You'll find out in a while. This is me at work, behind the steering wheel, driving my truck. Where I sit is called a cab, and it looks a lot like the inside of a car. As you can see, I always wear a seatbelt. Do you know where there are so many trucks on the road? A lot of them are used to deliver things, like cakes and bread to a cafe. Some transport things, like gravel, to or from construction sites. The biggest truck have a trailer attached to the cab. These trucks often drive long distances. Then there are fire trucks, which transport water, pumps, hoses, ladders and firefighters, and put out fires. And this is a waste and recycling truck, with different sections for plastic, cardboard, metal and glass. The trucks squash the rubbish before transporting it to the recycling centre. So, we need trucks for our world to work. That's why I'm so proud of being a truck driver. Do you want to join me for a day at work? The first thing I do after breakfast is pick up my cargo. Once everything has been loaded into the trailer, I climb up the steps into the cab. How tall do you think my truck is? This truck is four and a half meters tall. That's about the same height as a female giraffe. The truck is also very long. When the trailer is attached, my truck is 16 and a half meters long. That's like three or four cars. Do you know this sound? It's me reversing the truck. When you hear this sound, don't stand behind the truck. Instead, remember to move away and to the side. Finally, I'm on my way. It's going to be a long journey. When I'm done driving for the day, I'll stop somewhere for dinner. Before going to sleep in my truck, I brush my teeth and get ready for bed. Behind the driver's seat is a bed, a table, a fridge and a microwave. I like to watch a bit of television before I go to sleep. Good night. The next day, I continue my journey. As you can see, when the roads are busy, it can be hard to see everything going on around the truck. That's because the truck's so big and I'm sitting so high up. I have mirrors and cameras to help me, but I still lean forward and sideways to make sure I can see everything. If you are in the street outside my truck, you can't be sure that I can see you. So, always make eye contact with me. If you can't look straight at me through the windscreen or side window, you can try to use the mirrors. In traffic, safety is the most important thing. As a driver, it's my job to drive safely. And if we help each other, it will be even safer. Take a look at these cyclists. Which ones do you think are easiest for me to see? And which ones are most difficult? The ones that are hardest to see are the three at the front. The cyclist in an orange shirt on the green bike to my left could also be hard to spot. The two at the back are in the safest place. One of the most common accidents between a bicycle and a truck is when the truck is about to turn left. That's because my truck is so long that I need to get all of my wheels past the corner before I can make the turn. So, even if it looks like I'm planning on driving straight ahead, I might actually be preparing to turn. And if you stop here, the rear of my trailer might hit you. To let you know I'm about to turn, I will use my indicator lights. Unfortunately, some drivers forget to use theirs. So to be on the safe side, 
always stop well behind trucks at junctions and crossroads. When crossing a road, always use pedestrian crossings. Before you cross, stop completely. Stop is the first important word to remember. Before you cross, take a good look around you. Look is the second important word to remember. Okay? First, look right, then look left, and then look right again. Never step out into the road if you see a vehicle approaching. And when a vehicle stops, you should make eye contact with the driver. To make sure the driver has seen you, wave and wait for the driver to wave back. Wave is the third important word to remember. When the driver waves back, you know they've seen you. But it still might not be safe for you to cross the road. Be aware of any other vehicles. You never know. Another vehicle might suddenly come out from behind the truck or from another direction. To remember the safest way to cross the road, think of these three words. Stop. Look. Wave. Do you remember that I waved at you at the beginning? That's because I could see you. I hope we meet again and wave to each other soon.